Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video where today we'll be going to watch Cardiff vs Birmingham City. Once again, I'm here with my dad. So if you saw the last video, we went to uh, Cardiff vs Barnsley. We got the 2-1 victory, excellent game, referee and, referee and decisions were a bit questioned. This is another must-win game for Cardiff. Um, Gary Monk, ex-Swansea manager, returning or coming to the capital of South Wales. So I wonder what sort of reception he's going to get. Team-wise, who knows what we're going to play. Do you have any comments? Yeah, not sure if Morrison's going to be back for this match, but Manga and Bamba solid at the back against Barnsley. Of course, did concede that first goal in about five matches at home, but we still got lots of injuries, problems at the moment, the likes of Rolls are out. However, I think the squad can cope with that at the time being. Whether we can on Tuesday, a tough one away against Brentford, live on Sky as well, of course, but uh, today, They've got a new manager, of course. I think they lost 1-0 against Middlesbrough at home, Birmingham. Coming yep. away against Cardiff, their away form isn't that, fanta isn't that good at all. So Cardiff yep. should really be aiming to get these three points quite comfortably. Yep. And I'm sure Gary Monk will get a, a lovely reception from the Cardiff faithful. Okay, so Cardiff team news has just been announced. Leffridge and goal. Back for Peltier, Mango, Bamba and Bennett. Three in midfield, uh, Bryson, Burridge and Patterson. And then up front, Mendes, Lang. Most notably, uh, Morrison is back, but he's on the bench. Kadeem Harris has been uh, dropped, he's not on the team, and also Ross is still out injured. What's your opinions? Okay, I'm going for a 2-0 uh, victory. I don't think Vimmer will be quite strong. by Julian Hoylett just getting touched over the bar by David Sorkdale Birmingham. Julian Hoylett will look to take the corner out. Amazing goal by Mendes Lang! It's on the side of his foot. Lang shoots the right hand to the bottom. It's a grass curve. Hoylett did a great goal from the floor. It's a bit of a grass curve, but he found the back of the net. 1-0, Mendes is 1-0. 12 minutes, 4 minutes gone. Excellent. Looks like Julia Hoylett took a knock there, but looks like the referee didn't stop play for a while, so are we going to have another game like last time? I think not. I mean, a bit, bit more comfortable. Yeah, if you want to see what happened last time, probably. Oh, Absolutely oh, disgraceful! Oh, 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 kick of goalkeeper in the head. Just in the open! Oh, he kicked the game off! Oh, 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 oh. Once again, has to stop the play, and it's two players, two of our players, that look like trashed heads. Excellent save by Neil Etheridge then. Looked like an excellent shot from Birmingham's number eight. Excellent oh, yeah. save. I think it made the Birmingham player made difficult because the ball was swerving all over the place, and all really Etheridge could do was parry it away. Not bad. Let's try and get another goal now before the second half ends. Oh, skill! Well, go on. Promising build up there. 15 minutes gone. Ridiculous rack. Oh, finally, he's stopped playing. Bryson tripped him away from his goal. Um, looks like Julian Hoyler's going to take the free kick. Let's see if he can do it. Go 
Paul Junior. Oh, too high, too high. Second goal scorer, Craig Bryson, looks like he's going off injured. Being replaced by Luke Timor. 36 minutes, did well. Back in the last couple of games, Bryson got his goal. I think that's his first goal for the club. Yeah, first goal for the club. Hopefully, we can get one more before half time. 36 minutes gone, so. Being replaced by number 20, Luke Timor. Four minutes out of time, Carlson strong, uh, just a uh, Kenneth Sabor who scores. can't ask for anything better really, hopefully we can get another three goals in the second half, but yeah, 6 nil would be lovely. Yeah, that would be, that would be a great game, especially against the next Swansea manager as well. Okay, so this idiotic referee oh, has given a penalty for absolutely no reason. He's blaming his soul Bamba for a court trip, but I didn't see anything. Yeah, Bamba's going to be careful, he's going to get himself booked uh, the referee, but it looked very, very hard penalty. Yeah, ridiculous. like this injury is stretched out a bit for him. Okay, so now the referee has just put Neil Etheridge for I think absolutely no reason. Time wasting apparently. So uh, I, I, he was there for about two seconds. I, I don't see what the problem was with that. Final set for Cardiff. Mendes Lang is going off our first goal scorer. And on comes Greg Halford. I think Neil Watt wants to tie up the defence at the back. So it's just so we can grind out the 3-1 victory against Birmingham. So Birmingham don't score any more goals. So a wise choice by Warnock there in my opinion. Yeah, taking Mendes Lang off, bringing in Halford, just another an extra body in midfield just to shore up the, uh, the game really and take the three points home. Junior Hoyler with an amazing chance but unfortunately he can connect. Pretty enough. Yeah, he just took too long, he should have just hit it first time or second time and uh, it would have been 4 1. There we go. Oh wow. Two minutes left. Birmingham scoring again. Shaking the second half, uh. 
So guys, we once again won, we won 3-2, excellent match in my opinion, or excellent win really. Should have won about 6-0, referee and terrible again. As yeah, my man of the match, I'm going to say Callum Patterson for this one, he had a really good game. So did Manga and so did so did Mendes Lang actually scoring for the first time in a while as well. Who was your man of the match then? My man of the match, I think I'm going to have to go for the same as you, Callum Patterson, Hoylett. Junior Hoylett had a good game as well. Um, but yeah, I think Patterson was a, just a standout figure throughout the Cardiff team. Yeah. But uh, overall, uh, I think the main talking point really is the referee and his questionable decisions throughout the match. Very soft penalty He's Cardiff. And why didn't he give a penalty to Cardiff? Um, some ridiculous decisions. I'm going to have to look at that back. Uh, but a welcome three points for Cardiff, especially with Fulham winning away at Preston, I believe. And I, as we're recording this, Aston Villa a 1 0 up against Wolves, where I think really, in the grand scheme of things, a Wolves victory over Aston Villa would be better for Cardiff because that would put seven points between Cardiff and Villa. However, that does drag Wolves back to just three points in front of Cardiff if it, if it remains the same. But uh, on the whole, Another three points for Cardiff. Yes, yeah, so guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.